welcome you to services with the Street Way Church of Christ, written in heaven of Bell Glade, Florida, where the Apostle Pauline Johnson is the pastor Amen. and founder. Amen. Amen. We trust in God and believe in God. Amen. That he will answer our prayers. Yes, he will. Amen. And we believe in that God is going to do the impossible. Amen. Amen. If you have any prayer requests, you can reach us at area code 561 351 4881. We thank God for his goodness. Amen. And we are so grateful just to be in the presence of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. We come to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. There is nothing too hard for him. Amen. Amen. Just learn how to trust him. Put him first in your life. Amen. And he will do the work. Amen. Amen. We ask him, amen, that God just do the impossible. Yes. Amen. That God will have his way in amen. our lives. Again, thank you for tuning in with the Great Big Church of Christ written in heaven. Yeah. You may send your prayer requests in. We will touch and agree with you. Amen. Believe that God is going to do the work. Amen. What Almighty God we serve. What Almighty God we serve. Oh, angels bow before Him. Hear the earth adore.
Amen. Let's pray for the families all over the land. Yes. Amen. That's in bereavement. Those that need help from God. Yes. Let's pray that the will of God will be done. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a consecrated song. Amen. And after that, Deacon Terrence Lovett will lead us in prayer. Amen. I need the Lord. I need Oh, yes.
man. Verse. You are still worldly. For since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like mere humans? Jesus. In today's verse, we see the Corinthians boasted in their wisdom, giftedness, and tolerance. Yet this wisdom of gifted and tolerance were worldly and not holy. No matter how gifted a church or full of earthly wisdom its leaders may have or how tolerant they are to other opinions, if the people of that church are caught up in petty arguments, clickishness, and ugly quarrels, they are immature and worldly. Rather than being in a place where Christ is known and shown, their meetings are no more than just a gathering of mere humans. We are recreated in Christ to be more, for we are God's handiwork, created in Jesus Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. May it be edifying to your soul. Amen. 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 The chimes of time. Ring out the news, another day is through. Someone slipped and fell. Was that someone you? You may have asked for added strength, your courage to renew.
keeps me doing it. Oh, God bless you. Amen. Thank God. Each and every one of you in your respective place. Amen. My Lord. He smiled on us this morning. Yes, he did. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Thank you, Lord. He left us among the land of the living. Yes, Lord. We owe him all the praise. Yes, Lord. We're so happy to be back in the house of ground. Thanking him for the many blessings stole on me and how you brought me down through the hill. The many things that told us now. I've already overcome and he is still on my side. I pray that I'll forever stay meek and humble. That my high praise always be in Jesus' name. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I guess so much me. Amen. Everybody has testified or sang your song. Amen. But now your testimonies, you shall overcome. Amen. And we thank God, amen, for, amen, the time that he's given us. Amen. Amen. And how the Lord is blessed. Amen. How many know it's nothing too hard for God? Amen. 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 And we just trust Him and wait on Him. Amen. He'll give us our hearts to that. Amen. Amen. I just thank God for being here this morning. Amen. And thank God that I'm still on this side. Still. Amen. Nothing is too hard for Nothing. Him, but we got to trust Him. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, Have your way glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. glory to God. Remember me. Remember me. Your word 
Oh God, and the person is bringing you work. You anointing God, we can't do it without you. Yes, Lord. Oh, just have your way, God. Move by your spirit. Oh, just move by your spirit, God. Yes. Oh God, oh God, oh God, do something for us now. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. God, some come for one thing. Well, Others come for yes. something else. But most of all, God, give us your word today. Yes. Feed us from on high. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we won't take no credit for nothing. But God, we give you honor and praise. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. We thank God, amen, for his goodness. Amen. And for what the Lord is doing. Amen. Amen. And we realize we can't do nothing without him. Amen. amen. And we just thank God. Amen. Because he is God. Amen. Amen. Y'all know how it is. You get old sometimes. Eyes get blurry. But thank God I can still see. Amen. 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 Better than some that can't see at all. That's right. That's right. Amen. We're going to call your attentions to 1 Kings 18. beginning at verse 19. Well, to give you a better understanding, we're going to start at verse 17. And it came to pass mm -hmm. when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, mm -hmm. but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, mm -hmm. and thou hast followed Baal. Mm -hmm. Now therefore sin, and gather me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450 for the prophets of the groves 400 which eat of the grove which eat of Jezebel's table mm -hmm. it was eaten from the wrong table yes, anyway Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and said gather the prophets together unto Mount Carmel and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? Mm -hmm. If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Well. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Mm. Let them therefore give us two birds, and let them choose one bird for themselves. And cut it in pieces. Well. And lay it on the wood. And put no power under. And I will dress the other wood. And lay it on the wood. And put no fire under it. Gee. And call ye on the name of your God. Hmm. And I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answereth by fact, let him be 
gone. And all the people answered and said, it is spoken. So what we are saying here today is showing you God can do anything. Yes. And the topic we want to use today is, it's time to make a decision. Yes, it is. It's time to make a decision. Yes. Sometimes we don't know what we want to do. Uh-huh. We don't know who we want to follow. Uh-huh. But we just kind of caught up well. in a mess. Mm. We don't know what we want to do. Mm. But it's time to make a decision. Yes, it is. It's time to know who God is yes. and the power that God has. Yes. So we said to you today, it's time to make a decision. God often presents us with great contrast in the men he brings on the scene of history to live at the same time and to interact with us. Yes. But yet they are men of God. Mm -hmm. Such is the case of Elijah. The dedicated prophet of God and Ahab, the wicked, ruthless king of Israel. How many know we're going to come into people that don't want to receive the Lord? That's right. They won't, don't want to hear nothing we got to say. Nothing. Bring two men like this together, and someone is likely going to have a problem somewhere. Somewhere. Ahab wanted to be more than God. Yes, he did. He wanted to be the God to the people. Mm -hmm. But how many know we got to give God what belonged to him? Yes. The problem that plagued the prophet is to understand Elijah's problem. We must have. We, we got to have understanding to understand what's going on with these people. Amen. What's going on in their mind, in yes. their life. Yes. yes. Now, Ed, uh -huh. he was a character, material strength, coupled with spiritual weakness. Uh -huh. He was caught up in the politics. Uh -huh. The complete politician who decided everything on the basis of ex, uh, expediency. Mm. His marriage to Jezebel, that was a problem. Mm -hmm. Big she tried to rule everybody. Yes. Y'all know we got them bits about it, women. Want to know everything, want to be in everybody's business. My Lord. But if you a child of God, you know how to stay in your lane. Amen. Amen. It will work. Religion. Now this is what they saying. Ahab introduced Balaamism to Israel. He brought a false god. Yes, he did. He wanted to be recognized. Uh -huh. Balaamism came from. Phoenicia, along with Jezebel, mm. originally named for any god, became the name for a god who was anything and everything which anyone could ever want. Mm. You name it, Baal was it, so mm. they say. Mm. Synchronism. Attempt to blend diverse elements into one unity. You can't do it. Mm. Ahab attempted to blend worship of God and worship of Baal into a sort of super religion. Thou shalt not have no other gods before you. No other. No other. I don't care how you do it. You just can't do it. But one thing about it, Elijah came on the scene. Yes. Elijah means 
Jehovah is God. Yes, yes, thank you, Jesus. He was a man of God. Yes. He went wherever God told him to go. Yes. He did whatever God told yes, him to did. do. Yes. He was one of the foremost prophets of Israel. His home was in Tishbak, a village in the land of Gilead, mm -hmm. east of the Jordan River. He started his career as prophet in Israel during the reign of King Ahab, who began to rule about 940 BC mm -hmm. and continued during the reign of Ahab's son, Azariah. He also served as prophet under the rule of King Jeroboam of Judah. Through though Elijah Jehovah, it was through Elijah, Jehovah provided a pillar of strength for the true worship in the time when the Israel's alarmingly low estate. The people had given up. King Ahab, the son of Umrah, had continued the care of worship established by Jerome. But Worse, mm -hmm. he had married Jezebel, mm -hmm. the daughter of Sidonian, king of F of F mm -hmm. Under her influence, mm -hmm. Ahab added greatly to his sins beyond all Israel's kings by introducing Baal worship mm -hmm. on the on the grand scale. He went overboard with him. Baal's priests and prophets multiplied. Mm. And corruption reached an extreme high. Jezebel hated Jehovah. She caused persecution and slaughtered the prophets, driving them into caves hiding from her running for their lives. After this announcement, Jehovah directed Elijah to the Torrent Valley of Sharif, to the east of the Jordan, in the territory of the tribes of Gad. Here, miraculously, ravens brings food to the man of God. That's right. He gets water, mm -hmm from the Torrent Valley, well. which in due time dries up because of the drought. Jehovah continues to guide him, sending him across to the western side of Ahab's territory of Zarephath, a city in the Mediterranean coast between Sudan and Tyre. Here near the city, Sudan, where King Ahab's father-in-law, Ethelbel, is ruling. Elijah meets a widow, preparing a final meal for herself and her son. With their very last bit of flour and oil. Mm. Y'all know it take a little bit more than that, but it was God in it. Mm -hmm. Elijah requested a cake with the promise of Jehovah's provision. Yes. You can't do it without his provision. All right, and For them doing the drought. Mm -hmm. He promised them that God would provide for them. Yes. Because she recognizes him. As a man of God, mm -hmm. Elijah raised the Shumanite woman's son mm -hmm. from the dead. Mm -hmm. You all remember the scripture. Amen. In the meantime, Ahab have looked everywhere in a fruitless search for Elijah. Yes, indeed. God instructed Elijah to show himself to Ahab. Yeah. Elijah encounters Ahab and requests a meeting with the 450 prophets of Baal. 
and the 400 prophets of the sacred book. Ahab gathers the prophets to Mount Carmel, not far from the Mediterranean Sea. Elijah now become before the people, proposes as a test to prove who is the true God and why we need to follow. Whichever God answers by fire, serve him. A bull sacrifice, we're going to give him a bull sacrifice to acknowledge or be acknowledged by all. Baal is a living God. Mm. It's what they say. They say. But one thing about it, the problem of the prophet was that Ahab had taught the children of Israel to worship both God and Baal. Mm. There's only one. Oh. Only one. So ain't no need in teaching them all of this because right. it's going to come back. It's only one God. Only one. The church that challenged God's children, how long hold ye between two opinions? Mm -hmm. If a Lord be God, follow him. Yes. But if Baal, then follow him. Mm -hmm. But when we go through this test, you're going to see who God is. Amen. Elijah corrected the people's thinking by pointing out that they were actually faith with two choices mm. rather than the one Ahab was trying to sell them. Right. He let them know if you choose Baal, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. But if you choose God, you choose life. Yes. So Elijah wanted to make this plain to the people. You have a choice. Correct. You can choose Baal or you can choose the true and living God. Mm -hmm. Elijah described their conduct as haunting, which means to waver or to Linger around. Mm, mm, mm. Elijah remain, reminded them of their responsibility by forcing them to come to a, to a decision. It's bad when you got to be forced to make a decision. Yeah. Elijah demanded action once the decision was made. Immediate action demanded. He asked the question, how long? How? How long are you going to mm -hmm. talk between two of them? Mm -hmm. Continuing action demanded, follow him. You follow the God that proved to be God. Amen. Means to go straight after. It Take a continuing action. You got to do it now and keep doing it. Amen. Elijah demonstrated their folly by the contest on Mount Carmel. Mm -hmm. The specifics that scrutinize the saints. Even though the story took place a long time ago, there are truths in it that speaks to us today. Amen. The church faces the same threat today as that that opposed by Ahab. Craziness. Materialism is mixing in of God and the Bible and what the words say today. Mm. You got to know the word for yourself yes. and make a decision and make sure you're making the right one. Yes. Most people today want to mix Christianity with other things. Most of us want to say what we have. If God hadn't provided, you wouldn't have. Mm -mm. That's why I said mixing materialism with the things of the Bible and the things that God put in the world. Mm -hmm. Most people that 
they want to mix things up with other things. The morning Christianity faces options. It is just as deadly to waver today as it was then. He must be Lord of all, and he is not love, Lord at all. You got to know that he has all power in his hands. Yes. The average Christian is stripped of power because he or she has not come to the place of re reality deciding who the Lord is. Mm -hmm. You got to make a choice. Yes. You can't be on the fence. Mm -mm. You got to be either on this side or the on other side. side. Amen. You got to know that God can and will yes. make a way for you. But we see when Baal's prophets, Elijah told them that how many buttocks to cut up. Mm -hmm and put on the altar. Then get water and pour it on there. Mm -hmm. Call on your God. Yes. The one that answered black fact, that's the God we don't see. Amen. They prayed, they called and they mm -hmm. called me. Mm -hmm. Noon time came. Mm -hmm. He still had an answer. Well. We see Elijah coming on the scene. Call him a little laugh. Yes. Maybe he's deaf. Uh-huh. Maybe he's busy, can't he? Well. Call him loud. Uh-huh. Cause he was going to answer that back. Amen. When that time was up, it was time for the man of God to come on the scene. Mm -hmm. Elijah went and rebuilt that altar. Have them put more water more than they had before. More water. Look at God. But as he called on God, mm -hmm. he said, The God of Abraham, yes. Isaac, and yes. Jacob, yes. come on down to see about oh, your child. Yes. I want you to know fire came from him. Yes, it did. Lapped up all that water mm -hmm. and the sacrifices. Yes. They began to run and cry, mm -hmm. cut themselves. Yeah. But look at the mighty God that we see. Amen. It's time to make a decision. Oh, yeah. Don't stand now halting between two opinions. You know the devil is the devil. Yes, he is. But when you call on God, oh, yeah. he's there to answer you. Yes. So it's time to make a decision. Mm -hmm. When we begin to look for reasons well, for the failure of the morning church, well, we must give consideration to the fact that too many Christians are limping on the fence. Too many. They're trying to serve both God. Too many. It's not for one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question today. Which means they have not made a decision. Mm. Elijah said, how long, how long are you going to halt between two opinions? Mm. If God be God, mm. serve him. Yeah. If Baal be God, then serve him. Well. But when God answered Elijah, yeah. they knew that he was the God of the heavens and earth. Man. It's time to make a decision. Yeah. Know who you are serving. Yes. Know that God has all power in his hand. All yes. power. All power. Yes. Glory to God. I don't care what the doctor say. Mm -hmm. Many times they give you the wrong report. That's right. Or they looking from their point of view. Uh -huh. But how many you know God oh, has all, oh, everything oh, under control? Oh, he can't do anything but things. Thank you, Jesus. So it's time to make a decision. Amen. How long are you going to hold this one to your How long? How long are you going to wait? How long are you going to sit and cry? Yeah, hey, Glory God. to God. Cry out to the living God. Yeah, Here I am. Yeah. I give myself to you. Yeah, thank you Lord. Glory thank to God. Jesus. Have your way. Yeah. Not my way. Oh, but have your way. Yes, 
glory to God. Mm. It's time to make a decision. Yes, it is. And when you make that decision, come on now. Make sure you are serving the right God. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Praise God to everyone under the sound of my voice. You have a decision to make. One decision will lead you to hell and another right decision will lead you to heaven. The invitation is before you right now. The question is how long? You have heard the word long enough. Somebody somewhere at some wedding or some funeral, riding down the road, you've seen the bumper sticker, or you've seen the billboard on the side of the road. That was God speaking to you and giving you an opportunity then. But I would ask you this. If you were to live long enough to close your eyes tonight, will you wake up in the morning? And if death were to catch you, amen, while you were asleep, where would you spend eternity? Well, I'm going to tell you, if you do not have Jesus Christ, you have not accepted and you're not under the lordship of the God that you were just informed about, amen, and just given, she couldn't have given you any more, any greater detail. If you are not serving that God, I want to serve notice to you, you're already serving a God. That's Satan himself. And none of Satan bears nothing but sin. And the Bible declares that no sin shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we ask you, everyone under the sound of my voice, no matter who you are, where you are, whatever you were doing, amen. If you just acknowledge that you're a sinner in need of, of a Savior, we all had to do it, amen. Then the word say repent. That means to turn from your sinful ways and turn to the ways of righteousness that come through Jesus Christ. Then ask Jesus Christ to come into your life and be Lord and Savior over your life and over your soul. The word of God declares that it, whosoever shall come unto the Father, in Jesus' name, he shall in no wise cast him away. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Don't let the false religion fool you and say you can go through by works or deeds or without Jesus. You need Jesus to make it in. So I accept him today. Lord Jesus, here I am I. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Lead me into the paths of righteousness. And amen. If you pray that prayer with a sense of your heart, means you meant what you were saying. Amen. You're not just giving lip service, but you meant it. And you understood what the pastor gave you today. Amen. Food for thought and food for life is what you receive. And we pray and thank God for you. Amen. And we just give God all honor, praise, and glory. And thank you for being into the family. Now, you have been adopted into the family. The word, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, say, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. The first after that, 18 verse say, and all things are of God. Don't let the devil pray with your head. If you pray the sincere prayer, amen, you are a new creature. You are a child of God. Amen. And we pray that God will send you to a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, Bible-teaching, but most of all, Bible-living church home, that you can receive the rest of the structure that you need to live this righteous and holy life. Amen. 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 God bless you, and we thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Into the hands of our deacons, amen. Deacon Desmond Lovett, Sr., amen, as he come. Amen. Let's show him some love, amen. 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 Also, amen, while we're waiting on Deacon Lovett, amen, we do know that the anniversary is next week. Am I correct? Amen. Amen. The time of service will be 3 o'clock, amen. For those of you here that's familiar, at amen. At the Lord's house. At the Lord's house, the amen. same location. The house of prayer. The house of prayer. The house of prayer. The same place we had last year.